Welcome! This is In a Fool's Garden with Master John Inchingham the Fool. Thank you for coming! It's a small audience, so feel free to drift down. I know being up on the hill gives you a nice view. <clears throat> but I'll I set a good example. You, you don't get too close. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. <laughs> This is an audience participation concert. So, we're going to warm up here. Simple vocal exercise. Everybody knows how to ah, right? Ah. And everybody knows how to waggle your tongue, right? If you put the two together, you sound like a mandolin. Like this. Simple, yes? Yeah. You'll recognize your part as it comes by. <clears throat> On the peak of Mount Parnassus, in the golden days of Greece, there dwelt a beast named Homer, whose heads tallied three times three. Sing, recite, a dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. Yes, Homer was a Hydra, but his soul knew right from wrong. Instead of carnage, he liked poetry and body drinking songs. Sing, recite a dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. Nine muses taught that monster music, dance, and theatrics. Lyric star lore hymns and history and bloody long epics. Sing, recite a dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. When the Greeks got bored, they journeyed up to Homer's high domain, where every night to said those Hydra heads took turns to entertain. Sing, recite a dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. If you visit Mount Parnassus, no beast you'll find today. Cause old Homer came down years ago and joined the SCA. Sing, recite to dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. Sing, recite to dance, tell a tale of woe. It's the Bardic Hydra show. Catch! Woo!